ntnp welcome to another video today guys i hope you all are doing well as for my old and new subscribers thank you guys if you are new here if this uh, video is your first time coming into my channel i really appreciate you and i hope you love my channel and what you are seeing today if not guys check on my playlist i have numerous uh goodies i mean goodies okay so just try and check that out okay thank you so much and don't forget to turn on your notification bell in case of any i mean any beautiful new video okay so guys today's video was requested uh, by a social subscriber she watched um one of my aloe vera oil video most uh, that's let me say the the one i made professional way they made aloe vera so she asked me to do the update because she really really found uh let me say that video very very interesting so well in the one i made i'm going to link it in the end video when you after finish watching the video the end screen so um i didn't finish up let me say from start to the end but today i'm going to do it step by step from start to finish okay just watch this video to the end okay so because this oil this particular oil is very i mean very super i mean duper amazing that after you do this oil you are not going to watch any other video of aloe vera but this particular one okay so i went ahead to clean my aloe vera fruit i washed it i cut it into a dice like this so after here let's go to the next stage so guys, the next stage, you need a clean and main disinfected jar with bleach. You are going to wash this by soaking it inside a bleach hot water for five minutes. Then after that, wash it with soap and, you know, just keep it to dry on its own. After it has dried, then you just uh, bring it and use it this way because you are going to, uh, you know, uh, preserve this aloe vera in this form with oil for 21 days. Just count it. That is the reason why you need to allow that jar to be very, very clean, very clean because you don't want any bacteria to go inside to destroy the property of this aloe vera. So you are going to need a oil, but I'm using 250 milliliter of grape seed oil. The one I made before, I also use, I think, grape seed or sun seed flour, but nevertheless, I use light oil. At least I mix it with um, olive oil most of you normally ask if it is possible to use coconut or olive oil. yes you can use any oil of your choice but if you want to make aloe vera oil to come that great i think it is better to use light oil because aloe vera has a great benefit and properties that can be able to boost that oil to come that you know uh, stronger healthier and you know super so this is how it looks you need to allow the oil to cover the aloe vera, aloe vera fruit i mean to say so right now let's go to the next stage so after you have it like so most of you ask me for gauge for quantity guys at times you know aloe vera fruit, you don't have the quantity but i will advise if you are doing a huge amount just allow your oil to cover it let it have space so you can be able to shake it whenever you want to shake it okay so the next thing i'm going to be doing this is where the magic come okay that will make this aloe vera to be that super great you are going to see it after 21 days at the you know just that's why i said watch this video to the end you are going to need a sea salt you need a piece of cloth, I guess, cutting wool, but let it be that big, okay? I will be putting um, a sort, a big sort, not those granded sort I used to cook. The the bigger one that I, you can also use to cook by, you know, grinding it, but let it that be that big one. Either the sea sort, Epsom sort, or any sort you have, okay, is okay. Now you are going to wrap it like so, like a sweet, when you are wrapping a sweet, just wrap it like so then use another one the longer one i also cut behind to tie it very tight don't allow it to have anywhere to lose then i went ahead to cut off the ss you know girls because it was so big okay so right now after doing all this you are going to dip it inside uh your jar please when making this 
also wash your hand make sure your hand is clean otherwise you use a hand gloves okay make sure your hand is clean otherwise use an hand gloves okay so after putting it inside i'm going to just shake it like so this is just to start the process of you know the let me say i don't know if i can call it fermented or i can say yeah the, the, that's infusion so this is to help to you know just start the process so that's it so we are going to just um come back now with the next stage okay so right now the next thing you will need to do is to use a foil paper to wrap your aloe vera that's the jar like so in this process does not need um a cloth because this is going to be put in under the sun okay so you need to have that between with the sun uh, uh light and the the foil paper will protect your oil from your uh, sun uh, you know uh damage okay if i may say so if that makes sense otherwise you can put it on your heater because here in italy we are in winter so we don't have sun here i'm going to put my uh, on top of my heater to warm like as if it's a song but you need a foil paper guys if not i don't know what to say so right now i'm going to keep it for 21 days and guys we are going to come back hi guys so today is after 21 days so let's open uh this foil paper um to see how it came up guys this oil really i mean infused well as you can see from what it was with clear oil to this uh colored oil of aloe vera property and every goodies so guys as you can see the aloe vera fruit is down there while the oil is up there and uh, right now what i'll be doing i'm going to uh, strain it like so into my bacon you can use anything that will be more easier for you to do this but i just want to do because this is not the only uh, separation we will be doing okay so i'm going to do two separation and i will i'm going to explain the last one which is very easy okay there's nothing hard there okay so right now this uh, remaining oil down in the jar i don't want to go further because uh if i should if i go further anyway i might end up you know um you know putting some water i mean the the liquid inside the oil which i strain first in my baker so for that reason this very one in the jar i'm going to allow it to sit there i'm not going to add it to this very one i use that one for my pre pool for anything i want to do let me say uh that need let me say when you want to do your hair mask uh pre pool uh, any hair treatment you can use that very one to avoid the liquid from there to get inside this very clean and you know uh this very one intact so i will advise you to do the same thing okay so you know when water go inside is more uh let me say uh you are going to work more okay that's just the the answer you are going to the work more so in spite of this very one, I don't have much water, but I am still going to strain it again to uh, to be sure hundred percent that there is no drop of water. So right now I'm going to cover it like so. This is to allow it to sit again for twenty four hour for the 24 hours so after then we come back to strain again so i'm just going to put some hole you can use a cloth to cover not only this plastic this is to allow it to breathe okay not to have vapor so i'm going to do it in this form and come back after 24 hours because it still needs to see if there is any drop or any tiny uh you know drop of water inside because the way you strain it first you might not know if there is water inside because they are mixed together so i'm going to remove my salt from my salt bag from the other one from the one inside the jar so i'm just going to throw it off we don't need it anymore we've already used it for what we want to use it to absorb you know vapor and more liquid that might be inside okay so right now i'm going to go ahead to uh, remove this and keep it for 24 hours and come back 
so right now guys after 24 hours you are going to uh, bring it to work it out let me say almost the end so you are going to need a clean disinfected jar dried wet dried okay so that we don't need any liquid inside you're also going to need an amber bottle a dark bottle like this very one where i put my the one i made before look at the, the quantity that i have left so you need a dark amber bottle to preserve it against sunlight and to uh, you know keep it intact from you know going bad that quick okay apart from you are also going to add vitamin e inside you know for to also pr uh, protect it to you know stay for that long or uh, rosemary essential oil okay you can add let me say four drop in 100 uh, milliliter of each oil of rosemary one drop or two of that of the um vitamin e oil so in other ways if you if you are scared that when you pour when you are pouring you can't go that gently you can use a syringe to just drill it and put it inside where you are going to uh, you know uh, keep it finally so this is what i will be doing right now i'm going to separate again in this form just go very very slowly okay be patient so i'm going to do it in this form until I get to, even if maybe I have more oil left with water, I rather wait, I rather stop, I mean, okay, as you can see down there, you see those uh, stuff, those are liquid, okay, we didn't see it for there because I allow it to settle down, so um, that is how you can know that there is still liquid inside, so the same thing I'm still going to do with this very one now, so I'm still going to allow it to sit for 24 hours, so after 24 hours, I'm going to just drill it with my syringe. I'm not going to pour because I know that this time I have very few liquid in under the oil. So I'm going to drill with my syringe and put it in here, okay? Put it in here. This is 100 milliliter bottle. Then you are going to add either, either five drop of rosemary oil. This is to preserve it against, uh, you know, oxidizing or vitamin E oil so that is it for this video i hope you love this video please subscribe share thank you for watching god bless you as usual bye bye